Hello, Clint Seeley here. I just thought I'd record this quick tutorial so maybe that I could help uh, with your lettering, spacing, and kerning option. Um, if you hear any background noise, that's just little Miss Sonia Kate. She's watching Sesame Street, so we got that going in the background. Um, but since this is just a quick help video, we'll, we'll deal with the Sesame Street. So, um, I saw posted on the Divas board that a lady was having some problems with the Birds of Paradise True Type font and some of the space, she was having some spacing issues. Now, I don't know if this is exactly the problem, um, ma'am, that you're experiencing, but um, let me just give you a quick pointer. This may be something you already know, um, or it may not be. With fonts like this, sometimes when we download true type fonts, especially free ones from like DaFont or DAFont.com, um, the font creator doesn't spend a ton of time kerning out um, or spacing correctly out uh, the letters of the alphabet. They just do the artistic thing and they're a little bit quicker about it. So sometimes, as a designer, we have to take it into our own hands to make sure that these uh, letters are kerned properly and you can see here um, the Clint Seely the particular type of font everything's not co connected the way that it should be but you can see here and we're in the art canvas you can see here when the lettering is selected each letter has by it a little bitty node you can see so the first thing that we would want to do um, to start instead of doing these all individually is we'll get as close as possible as close as we can so I'll go over here once it's selected and I'll click right here on the um, the edit tool here and you can see I get these little handlebars that show up well I can hover over grab this handlebar and I can manually change the kerning or the spacing between each letter so we'll get those down as close as we can to where it looks right but it may not be perfect so I'm gonna let it go there and if you want to manually control now make tiny little adjustments so everything looks correct maybe I want to change the C a little bit well, I can do that by manually grabbing these letters by their little node or their little handle individually alright so if I hover over and with my mouse I left click and hold down I can grab that C and I can move that C anywhere I want okay that's just kind of um, freestyling it if you want to jog the C left or right and not jog it up and down, you want to maintain that straight line. Let me hit undo. All you do when you hover over that dude, hold control down on your keyboard. So I'm going to press control. Okay. And then I'm going to grab that guy and it'll go, well, it should go just, well, sometimes the program has a hiccup. Now, see, I'm going left or right, but it won't go up and down. So then I can kern this perfectly because you can see the dotted outline. I'll get that dude right in there. Boom, just like that. I could grab um, the Y and do the same thing. Okay, that doesn't look good, so I'll kern this guy right on over to where everything looks smooth, okay? And when you're happy in the art canvas with the way that this looks and the letters are spaced, you could then convert that dude to embroidery digitizing and hopefully it turns out good for you okay so in this case it turned out pretty good that looks pretty good for a true type font hopefully this helps address uh, some of your kerning problems if you have v6 since this is done in the art canvas side if you have v6 this will work exactly the same um, because that tool uh, is in v the v6 version of Corel draw as well well, I hope this video helps. This is Clint Seeley, and thank you for watching.